both teams, I thought, um, played really hard. Um, you know, I thought our fight was there. I thought their fight was there. And I knew it would be with Mark being a uh, former player here and an alumni and um, the way his teams play. They play really hard. They play really physical. Um, he's always He always has his teams prepared to play. And, I thought they came in with a really good game plan. It was, it was different for us because we haven't, um, you know, set up against the zone for pretty much the whole game. And um, I thought our guys made some adjustments and uh, we started we started picking our spots and we were able to kind of get in the middle of it and, you know, find some little uh, creases and uh, create some scoring opportunities for ourselves. And uh, we, were, we were men on the glass tonight um, Trezarian had six offensive rebounds, and it was they were impressive. And guys were flying in there. Um, I thought both teams really, really uh, deserved a win, and I'm glad we came out with it. Well, I thought uh, I didn't know in the moment. I was I was trying to figure out how I wanted to approach it. Um, so I let them sit by themselves for a little while after we got them to sit down, and then I went in the huddle, and um, you know I was just kind of sitting there and letting them calm down. And, uh, you know, when I was able to talk to them, I just told them to control their emotions because their reactions when we started back playing was, was going to be seen more than what actually happened, um, you know, when we got back in the game. So, um, you know, I thought um, coming out of coming out of a little scuffle or whatever, when we got back on the court, um, we got a little out of character and we start, we took some challenge threes uh, when I thought we should have been attacking the zone. And then uh, we just kept we just kept scrapping the clone. We got it into overtime. I thought just when we gained our composure back, and that one rebound that the kid um, he got it and put it back up and won up by one. I thought that was a really really. Uh, I mean, obviously it was a key point in the game, but with this group, we never waver when adversity is in front of us. And so we had some time and. We came down and we were patient and we got a uh, got a shot at the rim and then Trezarian went to the free throw line and made two huge free throws. Trezarian said that was not the original play drawn up. He said, but when they went zone, the whole thing, and then Jalen said when they went zone, the whole thing went out the window. I wanted to get Jalen Sims on the run and clear out a side for him and they went zone. And I told him if they went zone, we were just going to have to make a play. Um, it's tough to draw something up. You know, mm -hmm. we get across four seconds left and Jalen Sims, he. Uh, he made the right play, kicked it to, to the open man, and Trey Zarian attacked, got to the rim, and got fouled and uh, made two huge free throws. I hope he makes them. That's what, I mean, we shoot free throws a lot. That's one thing that we have been doing. So, And he's been getting his up uh, and making them at a pretty high rate. But, uh, I mean, you can never really predict if they're going to go in or not. I believe in him. I believe in his preparation, and I'm just glad they both failed. I love, I love playing here. Um, and I hope nobody takes us the wrong way, but I hate playing here too. And when I say that, I mean our guys kind of get frantic and they kind of uh, divvy away from the game plan and the communication's not where it needs to be uh, because the crowd is special and it's loud and you can kind of get caught up into it, which we hope that, that that's what the other team does. Uh, but when you're facing really good ball clubs like JMU and Towson, um, they understand what they're coming into. So they just lock in and they, you know, stick to their game plan. Um, obviously love playing here because we, we gain an advantage when our guys really lock in. We've been, well, Joe, we lost two games at home all year. Um, that's pretty special. That's pretty special. And one conference game all year, and that was the other night. So it definitely is an advantage. But I think sometimes it can be a disadvantage when I'm trying to get them to lock in to doing their job consistently um, throughout the 40-minute game. So. Um, I'm glad we have it. Um, you know, I'm glad we have mature, older guys that can make their adjustments and uh, do what they need to do more times than not. How critical, important, happy for your seniors to go out on a exciting, crazy night like that? Uh, I'm, I'm extremely happy for them. They're special, special group of guys. They deserve that. They deserve a special night to um, go out on a high note. Um, you know, that was our 13th win. That was our 19th overall win. Uh, we're sitting in a really good place. We're in first place right now, tied with Towson. Um, so, you know, for them, those guys to go out um, on a high note, you know, it means everything to me in this program.